Hi and welcome to Cheeky Rich Show's unboxing of the Tefal Opti Grill. We're going to do a mini review of it cooking hamburgers. What sets this grill apart from your regular grill is the fact that it can sense how thick your food is and it can tell you exactly when it has reached its optimum level of doneness. So if you prefer to have your steak say rare, it will tell you when it's rare, it will tell you when it's medium and it will tell you when it is well done. It has six cooking modes for hamburgers, chicken, bread or sandwiches, sausages, chops and seafood. It will cook food from solid frozen and it also has a manual function. You can cook vegetables on it, fruits on it and this is what you get in the box. The plates are completely removable for washing as is the drip tray. It comes with a little recipe booklet. It's non-stick and the, the plates and the drip tray are dishwasher safe. It really doesn't get much easier than that. Let's remove its packaging. There's our drip tray, quite a handy size. I've got a George Foreman and I find that quite often the drip tray will actually overflow, which is not ideal, it makes a hell of a mess. Oh, there's a little booklet on it. It's a 2000 watt heating element with top and bottom elements. Child proof wrapper. Okay, about our guarantee. A little card on how to cook things, level of doneness and whatnot. I'm guessing instructions on its use, international guarantee. Hope we don't need that, that's a service line. And a quick start guide with some tips on how to use it. And there's our booklet. Some pretty interesting Italian meatball burgers, buttermilk rosemary marinated chicken thighs, Maryland. Oh, honey mustard grilled chicken thighs, Greek style chicken skewers, they look crinkle cut, don't they? Ham and cheese tomato gourmet grilled sandwich. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? Okay, time to scat through that later. We're going to wash up our plates and we have to make some hamburgers pronto because Richo has been whinging about wanting a hamburger since I bought this thing. So you lift it up and there's your grill plates, which are, you press a button on the side here and the grill plate actually removes. Really simple for cleaning. It's got some sort of non-stick coating. There's one element there. I'm just gonna wash those plates up before I start using it. And the same with the top, you just press the button. It just slips out of its little holder and there's the top plates. On the side of the machine, you have a sensor that tells you how thick the food is so that it cooks it to the precise level that you wish to cook your food at. I'll just release our cord, Aussie plug, that's a good start. And we'll give it a wash and show you how it works. Okay, the first thing I've noticed when I'm putting it back together is it doesn't actually say top or bottom anywhere. But because I've used these before and the, not this one, but other ones, and the fat is designed to drain away here, I'm guessing that that's the bottom one. Top one doesn't need to have the fat to drain away, so it's got a different lid. So clip it back in, close it shut. Yeah, that looks to be what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, right, so we're going to just pop that on. It has, this is a sensor here, which actually tells you, you put it on and it has a little ring around it, which will be pink. As the pink turns to purple, it will be time to put your food in it. Apparently it makes a little beep when it does that. And when it reaches rare or medium or well done, depending on what you're cooking and what you've set it for, those lights will actually change to the color. So it's like a heat activated thing. So we'll plug it in and turn it on and then we'll get our hambies ready for it. So just turn it on, immediately you turn it on, nothing happens. But when you turn the power on, and we're going to sense hamburgers. Okay, I'm guessing. Okay, it's preheating. Now we'll just get our meat ready. When that light actually beeps, it'll tell you to start putting your hamburgers on. That will go a bit purple, and then you pop them in. Can you see that light? It's really quite a bright, sort of purpley light. Tray underneath. Okay, after three minutes and 45 seconds, it's saying that it's preheated enough. The little alarm has gone off, so we're going to spray it lightly with some just canola oil. Use whatever oil that you like. It says to do that even though they're non-stick. Pop our burgers into the center. Pop that out, slide off. This is just turkey meat. And pop the lid down and let it do its thing. See how long it takes to cook. The light has changed now to a blue. Can you see that bluey colour? After three and a half minutes, the light has gone to yellow, saying that it's rare, but because these are turkey burgers, I want them to be a lot better cooked than that. So we'll just keep cooking. Okay, six minutes and 45 seconds later, it is glowing quite red, which indicate that it is well done. You see that? Now what does it look like? It doesn't actually look that well done to me. 
the juice that hasn't come out of it is pooled at the top of it. Just turn that over. It's not as brown on the bottom as I would have liked. Back on again. It's flashing quite red now. You can see that? It's actually really red, but for some reason it's coming up green in the camera lens. I take them off and pop our bacon and our onion slices on there. Just slip them onto a clean plate and pop our bacon on. And that will have to go on manual, I imagine. So we have a setting for bacon. I'm going to cut one of these guys in half and just show you what it claims is well done. Now I put no seasoning or anything on this meat. It is just straight turkey meat and it is cooked absolutely thoroughly. No pinkness whatsoever in that. I'm just going to put some cheese slices on here, which is not ideal, but it's a review of the grill, not the hamburger. If you want to see some fantastic hamburgers? Check out some of our other creations. Okay, bacon's nice and crispy. All the fat has drained out of it. We're just going to take that out now and pop on our onion slices. Now I've just cut them into little slabs because it's the way we like it. So they'll have some little char grill marks on them. I'm manual at the moment, so moving down. I don't want that too cooked up. Okay, time to grab our little onion rings out now and pop in our buns. Now I've just buttered the buns. They're well cooked. Can't use anything that can damage a non-stick surface here, so I'm just using the plastic tong thing. Now I've just got two buttered buns. Pop them like that and let them cook away. We just really want them to heat through. They're not going to I don't think they're going to toast too much. They flatten out a little bit. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm happy with that. Take them off, put the top on. Yep. Oh, slippery and very hot. Okay, mix the top on. Close the lid. That was only about 15 seconds. Okay, we just put our lettuce on. Don't be stingy with that because that gives it a nice flavour and it's very good for you. It's a very lean way of cooking. All of the fat has actually been rendered out of these little burgers. All of these little tomatoes have actually come out of our garden. They're organic. They're still warm from the sun. And I've cut them up because I call them exploding tomatoes. You put them in your mouth. If you've ever eaten one of these, you put them in your mouth and you bite them and you're flat out keeping the juice inside your mouth. They are that uh, volatile when you bite into them. Now we just take our burger out now. Power off. One burger goes on there, another one goes on there. Richo's a tomato sauce addict, so he can have tomato sauce on his. I like spicy hot sauce on mine. Pop our lids on. It's a nice char grill marks on them. They're really quite flattened out. They're almost like the crust off the end of a loaf of bread, but it smells amazing. It's still piping hot and it's ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed our little mini review and unboxing of the Tefal Opti Grill. It's a 2000 watt griller. This has been the amount of fat that is rendered out of it. See that? It's quite a bit. So you're not eating that, which is good. Our Chiggy Richo Tefal Opti Grill Burger. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas or reviews of new and innovative products, just check out our Cheeky Richard channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Okay, we'll just cut this in half and see what it looks like inside. You can't cook an egg on this, but it doesn't say that you can. I know I was hungry, but this is great. Thanks for watching. Out of two burgers and four strips of bacon, this is how much fat and juice has been rendered out of it. So that had the capacity to block your arteries or make your bun go all soggy. So it's probably about 45 mil there, but nobody needs to be eating that. It's already started to solidify on the top. Do you see that? It's all gooey. Okay, when you're all done finished cooking, you just press the button, lift the plate out and pop it into the dishwasher or wash it up in the sink. It's just as easy. And we just pop them so they're not touching each other straight into the dishwasher.